Welcome back to Drinks Made Easy, because cocktails don't have to be difficult. Today we're taking a look at this labor-intensive classic, the Ramos Gin Fizz. Now, originally it was called the New Orleans Fizz when Henry Ramos invented it in 1888, but it became super popular and took on his name. This drink is so labor-intensive, there are some recipes that call for it being shaken for four to six minutes. One account of the Mardi Gras party at the Stag Ramos's bar in 1915 says that he had 20 bartenders doing nothing but shaking this cocktail, passing it down the line, and tapping guys out as they became too tired. But don't worry, we have a super easy workaround. Just like we did with the Pisco Sour, which can be really labor intensive, today we're doing a super easy Ramos, again, using our blender. So we'll start with two ounces of the gin of your choice, five drops of orange flower water, Three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup, half an ounce of fresh lime juice, half an ounce of fresh lemon juice, three quarters of an ounce of cream, one egg white, and four small ice cubes or one medium sized cube. Cap that off and blend until integrated. And when I said integrated, I mean let the blender go until you can no longer hear the ice rattling around. You also want to let the blender really whip it up because that's why we're using the blender, to save a heck of a lot of time and energy. Now into our Collins glass, we're going to add one and a half ounces of cold soda water. And we're going to pour the cocktail through the soda water because that'll help to really integrate the bubbles into the cocktail as a whole. Slowly pour it into the glass. And then once it reaches the top, we're going to let it just sit for about a minute or so until the head turns into a meringue and then pour the rest through the top. One of the signature aspects of a Ramos is that you should have a good at least inch to two inches, or if you're a master, even higher, of that nice meringue foam rising up out of your glass. It'll almost look like a, a toasted marshmallow. If you want to get fancy, what you can also do is hit the bottom of the glass with a muddler. It's called the Monk Tap which the theory is that you're helping just to really push the seltzer up into the concoction and help make as thick of a head to this cocktail as possible. And there you have the Ramos Gin Fizz. Now normally I would also add a straw to this, but a certain somebody thought that it would ruin the thumbnail picture. But uh, know that you want a straw. Don't question my art, bro. His art. Don't question my art.